Championship day of the T20 Vitality Blast took place over the weekend. It's a fun day because both semifinal matches and then the championship are played on the same day. So three games all at once. It's a good time. I let my screen recorder run over the course of the day. I didn't capture everything, but of what I captured, I saw some good stuff. I saw a German, a Hawaiian, a Dalmatian, Luigi, a Jedi, Waldo, Chicken, Army Man, Leprechaun, Flamingo, Mountie, and I saw an old man dressed as as a British dude, as well as a lot of cool plays. This is some fun plays on the boundary. My dude, Sam's, who's electric, he's an all-rounder, always part of fun stuff, brings this six back in. That would have landed over, and now he's got to throw it. He can't touch the ground outside the boundary and the ball at the same time, so he throws it up in the air, then it comes back in and doesn't make the catch. But he did save five or four runs. I'm not sure how many they ran for. I think maybe he saved two. And look at that. Grabs it up in the air. And can he complete the catch? No, but not a boundary. That's really good cricket fielding. Here is another play on the boundary. Sam's is the batter now. Really bad fielding. That should have been one run. Instead, it's four because he missed it. Let's go back to good fielding on the boundary. I love this one. Full out dive. Gets his hand on the ball to stop it from hitting the rope. That saves an automatic four probably just went for one run, so saved himself three runs, and bad boundary feeling. Slipped. Hmm, a little smile from the batsman. I think he never saw it and then was like, where is it? It's going to be my left. It was to my right. Uh. I liked this exchange in the Somerset Surrey semifinal. They think it's out. The keeper likes it. It's not out. He says, and the keeper says, yeah, it is. Why don't you go check? And then they check it, and yes, the ball did hit his bat, and the ump says, yeah, okay, fuck, it was out. You got me. Let's talk about some skill bowling. That is a regular kind of fast-paced ball, and then that is the back of the hand, kind of like a 12-6 curveball, we would say, where, see, he's spinning it on the right, the back of the hand. That's going to get a lot of top spin. opens the batter's eyes. He thinks, oh, I'm going to crush this ball. Look how high it is. That is in my wheelhouse, and then it tumbles down and then stays below the bat on the bounce because it's got top spin. Look at this one. So the first, the batsman, is he's backed up off the stumps a little bit and just gets got on that second one. Now, this dude in the championship game, he was mastering this pitch or this ball. It was awesome. Look how juicy that looks. Collecting wickets left and right. That one's nuts. That one looks so pretty. He's not even jazzed up about it. He's still upset about that ball he missed on the boundary earlier. But look at this. Like, at this point... The batter is thinking, oh, baby, I'm going to crush that. And then it just tumbles straight down and stays low into the wickets. Basically, in baseball, we would call it 12-6 curveball. Back of the hand, off pace. I don't know all the terms they have for it, but it's fun. I like it. This is a great play by the keeper on this one. Ball edged out, full extension, one-hand grab. Love that. Another good play. We got a direct hit on a run out. Throws it at the stumps. One bounce. And before the batter's bat crosses the line, yep, he's out. Direct hit. That's awesome. These are my top three cutest hits of the day. Little ramp shot. Beep. That's six. Number two. Oop. That way. Beats the infielder. Gets back there. And the cutest is that one because he's just protecting He's just protecting his wicket. He gets beat by it. His bat is late. The ball beats him to the spot is what you're thinking. And then at the end, he's like, no, sorry. Goes for four. Bummer seems like every sport is running into what is a catch these days, and cricket's pretty deep into that. The umpire is going to rule this. He's going to make a soft call, which is like, eee, I think. I don't know. I'm not saying this proudly. Into his hands before the ball hits the ground, but then the ball hits the ground, and in cricket, the ball can't hit the ground at all. Even if you, like, 100% catch it. There was a catch in the ashes. It was, like, it was a catch, but by law... The ball hit the ground because he used the ground to, like, get a... It's, it's very silly. This one, yeah, I mean, if you're playing on a schoolyard with your friends, everyone is going to be like, yeah, dude, you caught it. You had control over it. But when you go into the semantics and the lawyering over the words that are catch, that guy says, no, 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 no. And the umpires say, yeah, not out. Oh, what even is a catch? And the best thing I saw was how the whole thing ended. Somerset need 15 more runs from the next 10 balls, but... 
They've already gotten out nine times. If Essex gets one more out, the 10th out, the match is over, and they have won the championship. And we got my dude Sam's up again, who hit pretty well, and that is going for four. No, a diving one hand and grab. Fuck yeah! Whoa! Come on! They say come on instead of let's go. That's the different thing there. The fans are going crazy. These two guys have just a a sitcom bromance of a hug, checking each other's breath, looking at each other's like deep into their soul, celebrating. That's awesome. Somerset were the best team, the whole league. Sam's, it's all right, dude. Go to the MLC and crush it. You're electric. Every time you're out there, something fun is happening. I enjoy it very much. This time it was at your expense, and that just happens. But look at this ball. Bam. It's going to rip past the fielder. Nope. Boom. Got it. What an ending. Electric. Ah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Bye.